Hello everyone, welcome back to Bally Spring. It's Farm Sing Guy here. I hope you're all doing well. We have got a little bit of a race on now. If you look at the time in the top corner, it's 6.30 pm. We've got to get the last of the grass off this field that was challenging us in the uh, live stream the other day. You remember we had a forage harvester that wasn't playing ball, so it was making things rather difficult. Well, I've fixed that. I've swapped out that John Deere or our old New Holland that we used in our original map tour and it seems to be working a lot better but you'll see from the weather perspective that we've got rain on the way and I have got a lot of straw bales from our harvest the other day sitting in the field which I don't want to get wet so we need to get this done and get those picked up before dark if we can so we're going to rush on try and get the last of this grass off the field here because again it would be nice to get this off the field and then we can worry about the wrapped bales in the other field once it starts raining because they're protected of course by the plastic wrap right we are just chasing our forage harvester here as you can see this is one of the rows we chopped out the other day so we're uh, giving us a little bit of leeway there to catch up with the harvester now he's going to be in the way here let me move out of his way as you can see that's the harvester on course play now and he's working very nicely he's just stopped there because he's picked up some grass so if we get ourselves into position here that will move him forward and he is off now so we'll roll with this guy for a little while We'll get this sorted, and then we'll be back. We are just doing a couple of the headlands here. A little few bits and pieces. We had already started to run around these with the other forage harvesters, so uh, we're just picking up a few straggly bits here. It's probably not a full trailer load left in the field here, but we'll uh, grab these last little bits. As you can see, the lights are on already, which is kind of far from ideal for picking up bales, but we'll do what we can. But I don't think we're going to struggle to get those in tonight. I just don't know when that rain is going to start exactly but we will uh, we will do our best I'm trying to decide the best thing to do here is grab this tractor or take the 7610 just leave the trailer hooked up to this dump this in the yard grab the 7610 go and get the trailer what I'll probably do the front loader and the weight are still in the field from the other day with the forage bales or the silage bales even um, so what I think I might do is just leave that in there and run the the telehandler that's at the other farm down instead. But we'll get this done, we'll get this tipped in the shed which shouldn't be more than a couple of minutes away and uh, then we'll see how we get on with these bales. Right, here we go, last little corner. 87% in the trailer as well, that's closer than I was expecting. Well, it looks like we're going to get to the end of the field without having to come back for any straggly bits. There is a small uh, row there that we've missed. But I'm okay with that. I can live with that. And I think this is us done now. Just waiting for the forage harvester to stop 
over the gate or something like that with course play, but I don't think he's going to. He should come to a stop just about here somewhere. Yep, there he goes. Pipe in. We are done. 91%. Not bad at all. I wasn't expecting that much from those last few bits. Right. The race is on now. Let's get this tipped in the shed. And let's get a tractor down and hooked up to that trailer. Right, I'm going to tip on the other side here, just because we unloaded on the, the left hand side there. So we don't want to pile up too high, because we don't want the, uh, the levelling tractor to have too many issues pushing it. It's not a huge tractor, it's not got a huge horsepower, so it's not going to be able to push massive piles. So we'll tip this. We'll call it the levelling tractor while we're waiting. As you can see with the lights on, the light is really dropping, especially in the shadows. So. Uh, we are going to have to get a move on. We don't want to leave any of those bales in the field if we can avoid it. Right, so we'll move our levelling tractor into place. He can do his stuff once we're out of there. Right. Let's park this up. I'm just going to park it along the edge of the bunker here. Uh, we're not going to cover this yet. As you can see, that's a huge bunker. And we've barely filled it. So we're going to keep that open for a while yet. The silage bales that we have should keep the uh, animals going for a little bit. Anyway, and if we need more, we can get more that way. I'm going to wait until we've got a very full bunker here. And then we'll decide what we want to do with it. Some of it may go into the uh, BGA, actually, and make us a little bit of money that way. But there we go. We'll leave him on. Let him get on with this thing. And we'll uh, probably take the 7610 down at the bottom of the yard there. And go and get these straw bales before this rain starts. So like I said earlier on, because these are wrapped, these can sit in the field with no problems in the rain. So they become less of a priority than the straw, which is obviously exposed and we don't want to get wet. So we'll grab the trailer and we'll come back for these. It might be a job for us to do when it's raining, actually. Now we just take a moment here to enjoy the lighting from Relight. As we're driving down... The other, there's a the telehandler. I love that. See that on the road. Great custom traffic. And again, in the field here at the bottom, there's our front loader and weight. I'm leaving that there for a reason, because we've got the same implement on the front of our telehandler at the other farm, which is closer, so we're going to run that one down to the uh, field, which you can just see in the distance ahead, actually, with the bales on it. So we'll head straight to the field, and then we'll go back and get the telehandler. Right, here we are on the field. I think I'll just park it pretty close to the bottom here. The telehandler can do the running. The lights off. We'll go and get the tail handler. Here we are. Let's do our thing with this. At least with the turning circle on this, I'm not going to get this as stuck as I did with some of the bigger implements like the combine. It's actually quicker than the tractor too. So for running around the field, that's going to help us. Right, here we are. We'll probably drop into a little time-lapse for this. And also, our bales aren't tipped on their side like they were when we did our silage bales. But the tool still seems to be working. So, let's get on with it, because time is pushing on.
Right, we have done it. One last bale to go. And I think we've just about beaten the light. Now we've got to obviously get these to the farm and unload it as well. But that shouldn't take too long. The final bale. So just one bale off a full load as well, which is helpful that we didn't have to do more than one run. And then this field is ready for a bit of ploughing. So let's get this loaded on. Let's get this back to the yard. I have to say, this bale loading grab, if you are frustrated with loading like I get, I don't have the patience to get everything lined up perfectly. But I want everything lined up perfectly. Although that said, I should have gone into transport position there. So we've lost our bale, but uh, there we go. It's going to be slightly wonky. But this thing is genius. There we go, all strapped up. Let's do the thing. Get it unloaded. It's a great trailer. This is Bailey trailer. From 4D modding. Perfect for this map. Links to all of their stuff in the description. Right. This could be a fun little sneak out of the gate here, actually. Should be alright, though. Hope there's not too much traffic coming. And we are good. Look at that. They even stop for us. More than can be said for some maps. Right, another cha challenging farm entrance here. See how we get on. Not bad, actually. Like I said, almost the perfect size for this map. But it gives you a little bit of tolerance. There's our bales left over from last harvest, so we'll just stack them with those. Right, here we are. We're going to jump straight into a little time-lapse here. And get all of these unloaded as quickly as we can. I'm just going to undo the straps first. And then we're good to go. And there we go, last two. Very pleased with how slick that went, actually. Like I said, loading bales is not my forte, but this little tool goes a long way in making things look rather neat and tidy. But I will buy that. Just as the light almost goes all together, we got everything that we needed to do done. So, we'll turn this off. For the night we'll move this trailer out of the way and uh, we will call it there for a night and we will see you in the morning now, hopefully this rain's going to go through the night but uh, we shall see good morning well that rain came to nothing in the night so we did all of that panicked for no reason it did rain a little bit so it was worth doing so we are back fresh clean day nothing to do other than a little bit more grass work let's just jump into the map and have a look now we do have already uh still have 159 156 and 38 and 74 and 8 of grass still to clear but we've also got field 31 that we've just cleared of uh the wheat that we could do something with as well. I think I'm going to plant grass in this the next time. 
again to see uh, if we can see if seeded grass will give us a much better yield than the standard grass that's in these fields at the moment. So that will be interesting to see. Um, we've actually got um, planted grass up in field 38 here, so maybe we'll try that as well. In terms of needs plowing, they seem to be clearing themselves once they're cut, which is interesting as well. So we'll keep an eye on that, but I will do a little bit of plowing anyway. I'm going to try and prep these fields the best I can so that uh, we can maximize the yield off them. Now, what I do want to do, because we've got it now, is test run our new TW15 tractor. That's a convert from 19, so I'm excited to give that a go. Uh, I've got to say thanks to one of my followers, Bogdan, who did the work on that for me, and really, really good job as well. And we've got the uh, horse um, tiller here, so we'll do that. So I think we'll hook that up now. And I think that's how we'll start our day. Now, for those of you who don't know, this TW15 tractor has got a lot of nostalgia for me. This is our biggest tractor on the farm that I grew up on. Uh, and I remember drooling over this tractor when it was in the yard. It was our main plowing uh, big tractor for doing all the heavy work. And it was a phenomenal, phenomenal piece of kit. So to have this in game is fantastic really 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 pleased so let's get this hooked up we could probably do with a front weight actually we'll go and get one of those and uh, we will see you in the field right here we are back at the field let's just wait for that car there it was very polite it slowed down for me we'll be tight squeeze through this gate But we'll get this in here. We'll get this turned. Also, you'll notice as well here, the weeds are already starting. So, we are going to have to look after those as well at some point. But for now, we will get this ready. We will get this turned. And we'll get it ready for planting. And there we are, final pass, and the field is done, ready for a bit of planting. So, that is another great job well done. So, we'll park up here, we will just jump out and check the state of the land, see what it says. Buried in the dust there for a second. Now if we jump out here, there we go, we need some nitrogen and some fertilizer on here to get things sorted but we are looking good we are looking good so i think that is a perfect time you call it a day for this episode thank you very much for watching i hope you enjoyed it i am still absolutely loving this map so 
from me for now. Hope you have a great rest of your day, week, wherever it is, or whatever it is you're doing. And we'll see you again very soon. Take care. Bye for now.